We have a dog that is known to pull. This is the first thing you have to do with a dog that has a trouble walking on a leash. Your dog can't lead you out the door. This is the most important thing. Shout out Joel Beckman. It's his method. It's a called a doorway method. Do not let your dog walk you out the door. You know, like he's already ready to walk out. We're gonna tell him. We're gonna show him why not. Good boy. Okay, come on. Here's part two of the challenge. Once you get outside the door, you gotta get to the car. He shouldn't be leading me to the car. I should be leading him. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, waiting for my leadership. He'd be waiting for help. What's going on there? A few moments later. All right, so we're here at the dog park. Our dog is, uh, he's anxious. You know why? Because if we're inside, I tell him to sit, he'll sit immediately. If I told him to sit right now, he's not even, he's not even, he's like, he's just somewhere else right now. That's where patience comes in. And you know, if you don't, if you have a dog that is reactive or anxious and you want him to get better, do not go out if you don't have enough time to get through that to work through all the anxiousness and whatever whatever you got to work on you have to have time for it and the patience hey sit yes good boy good sit yeah good boy good boy ash yes we like that when he stops with us hey You good. Sit. Yes. Nope. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. It's okay. Yes. Yes. You see what I'm talking about. It's okay, though. Hey. Yes. Now keep in mind, just, just pay attention to how many times I tell him no versus how many times I tell him yes versus how many times I don't say anything, right? I'm most of the time not going to say anything, especially if you're not listening, right? I'm just going to get him to do what I want him to do originally. Yes. Good boy. That is a good boy, right? That's patience right there. I didn't even say sit ever since the first time I said it. Good boy. That's a good boy. And now, Ash. It's okay. I'm looking for him. Yes. Okay, come on. Good boy. Or right, what the goal is right here is to get him to sit and shake while he's hearing all these dog ducks. There's so many distractions right now. Or birds, whatever they are. Hey. Sirens outside. Everything. So I'm not gonna ask him for a sit right now. I'm not gonna ask him for it. You see what I'm what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna walk this way. You can see, there you go. This is what I, yes. Hey. All right, now I can ask him. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. You can really tell when your dog is a little less distracted and slightly more focused. When he's slightly more focused, and you then you can get his attention. Then you can put him in what you need him to do. Shake. Yes. Good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, come on, man. That is good. Literally took me 15 minutes to get a shake yesterday. Even though we have a dog that's anxious and that is the cause of him not really paying attention, we still don't want him to blow us completely off, right? He know, we know he knows what we want. He's just not all the way here, right? Uh uh. Yes, good boy. Yes. Good. Yes. You can watch our live battle right here. He knows how to sit and he knows how to stay until I release him, right? If y'all, if you know that your dog knows these things, yes, you don't have to be so soft. Yes, good boy. Good. All right, here we go, watch it. 
Ash. Wave. Yes. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yes. Wave. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. I'll take it. Okay. Good boy. This is how you know you got a dog that's locked in when you can walk at way different speeds. Good boy. Good boy. No pressure on the leash. Just him being aware with me. I told, I sent him the message. He understood the message. And now we're, now we're good. In sync. <laughs>